What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. Right guys, in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is looking at some Canada Goose jackets. Now literally, last night I went to go and meet Designer Pop-Up and I met Rob, the owner of Designer Pop-Up, because we've done a couple of videos with them now, and the last video we did was when they done their super archive sale over in Brick Lane, and we covered that event, and it was it was really great. There was so many deals, I met lots of followers on, on down there, so that was really cool. But literally, in this video, what they've gone and done is they've gone and got themselves a whole bunch of Canada Goose jackets, and they're gonna be doing 40% off Canada Goose. That's absolutely crazy. So when I met them last night, I said, listen, you need to give me some of these jackets so I can go ahead and do a review for you guys. So I've literally got about six or seven jackets. This is going to be an ultimate Canada Goose review video where I'm literally going to try these jackets on, give you my thoughts on each one and give you my personal thoughts and opinions on their warmth, durability, what I think about them and just give you the general lowdown on these jackets, okay? Now remember, Designer Pop-Up are also doing 15% off all across their website as well. So it's not only on Canada Goose you will find 40% off, but they're doing 15% off all their other items that will not include the Canada Goose because they're already on 40% off which to be honest with you is an absolutely crazy crazy deal for Canada Goose now all of these jackets I'm showing you are men's jackets they do have women's jackets as well so if any of you guys are looking for jackets for your, for your loved ones your friends your sister your mum your, your aunt then you can also check out Designer Pop Up for that as well okay now listen if you're liking these videos make sure to get this video to what three four hundred likes get this video to three or four hundred likes and I'll be super chuffed I'll make sure to answer all the comments in the comments box below and I'll make sure to do lots more videos like this, okay? So listen, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Two seconds. Six jackets here, guys, okay? All Canada Goose. I'm gonna go through these one by one and try them all on, so let's crack into it. Right, so the first one we've got in is, oh, this is the Canada Goose Silver Form. Now this is a size medium, guys, okay? This is actually current season, so some jackets Canada Goose continue to do every single season, um, and this is one of them, the Silver Form. Now this one retails for 1,025. Designer Pop-Up are doing this for 625 pounds. Now I'm not trying to be funny, but when you go onto like marketplaces, like Depop, eBay, Grailed, all those type of um, websites, you will see the prices are actually quite high for used Canada Goose. So I'm just pretty sure if I went onto eBay and looked for a silver fawn, you're probably looking at about five for secondhand prices because the prices go up every single season, but 625 pounds is a very, very good deal, okay? It's different from the typical Maitland, Macmillan's, your Langford's, your Chateau's, your Emery's, which use the Arctic Tech technology. So it's a different material. In fact, if I look at this one, they only use the Arctic Tech on the rear part of the jacket, which is, which is here. The rest of it is like a kind of polyamide construction, which is still very good, but it just means that it's a different type of material. It's still water resistant, it's still windproof as well. It has got down insulation, but I guess the plus side of these jackets is you do get quite a few people, some of the heavier weight jackets, like let's take, let's say for like the Windham or the Macmillan, for example, they can be quite warm. And especially if you're in the city, you're running out, you're going to the shops, you're running around, getting on the bus and all this type of stuff, they can get quite hot. Whereas jackets like the Silver Form, which don't use that technology and they're a little bit more slimmer, they're more practical, I would say, for the city. So for running around, getting in and out of shops, all this type of good stuff, then you're probably gonna go for something like the Silver Fawn. These jackets are a lot more lighter, but still give you that, that warmth that you need. So they're still quite practical. You have got your hood, and there's a little wire that goes around the hood. You can like extend it and stuff like that. That kind of protects you from the wind. You've got fleece pockets on the side. You've also got fleece pockets on the top. Two pockets here on the inside of the jacket. And you've got the down insulation on there. And it comes with all the tags and the hologram and everything's on this jacket, guys, okay? So yeah, that's the silver form, guys. Right, next one. Right, the next jacket I'm gonna look, look at is called the Hendrix. So the Hendrix is more one of Canada Goose's more lighter weight jackets. It has the Arctic material but it has it on the back of the jacket the front has got more like a polyamide or polyester finish and that allows it that allows them to play with more design so you can see they've got the quilt design there uh, again the jacket is still water resistant very very warm um, but what I like about this one is that again for like city dwelling city living it's it's really practical you can jump in and out of the buses the tube in and out of shops and you shouldn't feel too warm in this one it shouldn't build up like an extreme amount of heat where I'd say the Macmillan and the, the Maitland the Langford 
all those jackets are, you kind of whip them out when it's really cold. I wouldn't recommend to wear them every single day because they, they, they're quite hot. They're quite hot, um, to be honest with you. They do get really, really warm. This one is a size, right, this one is a size large, 850, and it's gone down to five. 95 which to be honest with you is, is again it's a pretty decent price now the hood on this is removable so the hood can come off if you don't want to wear that you can take that off um you've got some really nice thick ribbed cuffs there as well because it's it's ribbed and it's quite secure that the air can't get in on the inside so that, that helps to keep you warm one pocket on the inside there pockets on the side which are fleece so loose pockets are good because if you're running around and your hands are wet or kind of cold put them in your jacket rub them around and they should dry and warm up okay it's got down insulation on the inside of the jacket as well so again this is quite a warm practical everyday jacket which um i think is quite nice um the special thing about this one as well is that you got the um you got the black label edition badge right there as well and if you look on the inside you've got the nice black lining on the inside of the jacket as well which is part of the black label okay so yeah that's the um hendrickson not too bad again i'd recommend this one for more city living everyday type of jacket yeah right next one Right, this jacket here, this is called the Pritchard. Now, I do believe this one is still um, on the Canada Goose website. So again, some jackets, Canada Goose stop some seasons and they re release new ones and some they just continue to do. They just bring them out every season because they're super popular. Again, this one's got the quilted material on the front, so it's a little bit more lighter. You've also got some um, shoulder guards as well and that's meant for like when you're skiing and you've got your skis. You just kind of put it on your shoulder and it's meant to just protect the jacket and give you some protection here which is quite nice now this jacket again is good for more like city kind of everyday type of wear because it's not going to get you super super hot but it, it will protect you from the elements weather at the moment in london is touching between 13 to 8 degrees um, and these jackets are more than enough to deal with those type of temperatures they're going to keep you really really warm it's just that these jackets that don't use the arctic a material they tend to be a little bit more lighter but they can still give you a great amount of, of warmth not as much as like the Macmillan the Maitland the Chateau the Langford or the Emery Parkers but it's going to give you a, more than enough to deal with those temperatures like between 8 and 13 degrees is going to be absolutely no problem for jackets like this remember when you go to the thicker jackets like the Macmillans and all those type of jackets they can deal with much more extreme temperatures so they're not really meant to be everyday jackets really to be honest with you those jackets were designed in Canada to deal with those type of um, arctic temperatures which we never really get here in in the uk okay but i know some parts of the uk can get really cold but i'm saying places like london you, you're probably not going to really need a maitland don't get me wrong maitland is one of my favorite jackets i've got some arctic jackets and i wear them but i just know some people get a little bit hot so i'm just saying there are other options for you as well if you don't want to get something that you feel what might be too hot for you okay it's also got a, a wire on the inside of the fur, fur trim as well, so you can kind of like mold that and play around with it. You can extend it like that, so that when it's raining or when the, it's really windy, you can get that protection. I can also mold that fur as well, so it can sit nice on the collar. And for those of us who don't like fur, that fur is removable, so you can take that off if you don't want it, okay? Canada Goose do not do many bomber jackets, so this is one of the few bomber jackets that they do, along with the Bromley and along with the very, very popular Chili Whack jacket as well. This one is a size, size large, and it's the black label edition. 995 down to six. Nine five, okay. Right, moving on to the next one. This one here is a bit of a monster jacket to be honest with you. This is called the Callahan. Now, this jacket here is still on the Canada Goose website, I believe. It's one of their popular jackets. It's more of a three-quarter length parker that comes with the fur. This one has a bit of a mixed material. It's got some different type of material. I don't think it's Arctic Tech, but the pockets is a bit different. Also, the shoulder pads have got a different material as well. Quilted material all throughout. So, yeah, this one, again, is another more kind of lighter weight jacket that's more designed for the city. So again, running in and out of shops, out of your car, jumping back in on the tube, running around, all that type of good stuff. This hood also can be extended like that. So when it rains, it's gonna protect you from the elements and the wind can't get in because the fur's kind of protecting it. You can also remove the uh, fur if you don't want that as well. So it, it, you don't have to wear that. It's got a really nice mouth guard on the side there. So when you do the jacket up, when you do the jacket up, that's gonna protect your mouth and keep you all well protected and well insulated, okay? So that's it, man. That's the, uh, that's the Callahan. Now this one, I believe, is a size large and remember guys i'm a size large it's 1150 and it's down to 700 okay right moving on to our next one now this one's a bit of a classic one this one this is called the canada goose silk and this one is a size medium okay if i want to go a little bit more fitted i'll go for a medium but what i do notice is that 
on the arms it's just a slight bit tight a little bit more a little bit more higher up on the cuff so really i probably want to be going for a large myself when it comes to canada goose sizing i would say to maybe try to go for more true to size uh, remember canada goose jackets are, are meant to be a little bit tiny little bit more oversized anyway so they're not really meant to be that fitted and um, there is like a fit called the fusion fit for canada goose so if you want something that's a bit more fitted try to look for fusion fits in europe we tend to like more kind of fitted stuff whereas in america they don't mind the loose kind of fit and that is actually how the jacket is meant to be it's a very 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 good jacket it's it's one of their best jackets i think along with the Maitland and the Macmillan. The style of it is very nice. Really nice pockets, really nice uh, mouth guard here. It's also got a hood and the hood is all down insulated and this feels a lot more thicker and a lot more warm. So these are kind of designed to do with more extreme temperatures, these ones. With this one, it, it, it only goes up to um, just above my waist. So it's, it's more of like a shorter, it's more like a shorter parka, but I really like it. So you've got four pockets here and the bottom pockets have two pockets. So you've got side pockets here, which are fleece, fleece pockets on the top here, and the top ones are not fleece, but they're all buttoned down as well. Pocket on the side here, and you've also got all your labels and tags and all the holograms, everything is inside this jacket, which also means it's good because it also means that it's, it also includes the warranty with the jacket as well. So if there's any issues with the jacket or faults that develop over the coming years, Canada Goose should be able to resolve and look after you, okay? But that's not for wear and tear guys that's just for faults inside the jackets okay to be honest with you at 450 for a brand new Canada Goose silk jacket like this I actually think that's a really really good deal if you look on eBay Depot Grilled all those places you're probably looking about 400 450 sometimes even more for jackets like this so brand new I think it's a good opportunity okay right next one right guys this is my absolute favorite one out of the bun. This is the Constable Parker. Now the reason why I love this one so much is because it reminds me of the Maitland. In fact, it is like the Maitland, which I went and sold like a donut, but it's just a little bit longer. Very, very nice, okay? Designer Pop-Up are also doing the um, the hats. Look at that. So the hats are like, I think they're 240, 2, 290 down to 240. But yeah, I know they're expensive, but I've got about three of these hats and I absolutely love them. So I just keep them and collect them when I see them for a good deal. But this one is 240 and that's real Sherlin on the inside of that hat. It's got padding on the inside of the jacket there, um, which is really nice. And Sherlin on the outside, got the, the hologram and they're different sizes as well. So this one's a larger or extra large. And um, they've also got the down insulated one, which I haven't seen. Nice, and this one is 195 down to 150, and that was a large and extra large. But anyway, moving on swiftly. Right, so the Constable, this is one of my favorite jacket guys from Canada Goose, especially this print, which you can't really get anymore, to be honest with you. This, this camo print, they haven't re-released it again. Um, every season, Canada Goose do a new camo graphics style print. If you can get a hold of them, I think it's worth it because they, they tend to hold their value really well because although they bring out the models, some of these models every season, they don't tend to bring out the same camo style prints that they that they usually do. So what happens is they, they end up to be quite rare. This one actually has a like a vent system so it's just got a zip which you can open and close if i've got this all done up and i'm running around and i'm feeling a little bit hot and i'm like Oof, i'm a bit hot i'll just undo the zips on the sides and i'll walk around and now that heat on the inside is being released on the side of the jacket so i'm actually able to control the temperature and the ventilation on this jacket if it starts to get a little bit too cold again i'm going to just zip one side up and then just have one loose if I get really cold, I can just go ahead and zip it all back up. And obviously you can open it and just let it all out. But you just got more um, functionality to play with this jacket. So this is why I really, really rate that. Fleece pockets on the inside. You've got one pocket here, one pocket here. You've also got all your labels and everything like that as well. You can also check all of these jackets with the style code. Just Google the style code with Canada Goose and it will always bring you up the model of the jacket. So you can clearly see that these jackets are all genuine 100% no issues that that's not even a question okay guys that was it six jackets two hats ultimate Canada goose review of my thoughts and opinions i hope you really enjoyed it and you really like it remember if you want to see any of these pieces go over to designer pop-ups so you can go and get these jackets for up to about 40 50 percent off all the other stuff on the website as well will be 15 percent off so i've got a little code over here you can use our links in the description box below to head over to the designer pop-up and go and grab yourself some of these jackets on a really really good deal okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video I'll be back again. Make sure to get this video to what? 300 likes? 300 likes? Yeah, 300 likes. And I will do more crazy videos like this one, okay? Listen, I'm out of there. Lots more coming. Peace out.